Hey guys, uh, this is uh, a demo on how to make a proxy in AWS um, utilizing some of the AWS uh, free tiers that you get one year. Um, it gives you access to a micro server. So you can actually use this micro server and create a proxy out in Europe. So you can uh, then hit up EU exclusive raffles. Um, it's just a single box. Um, but it's better than nothing and uh, you know it it works pretty good so uh, I'm going to show you how to do that um, AWS is a little bit more complicated than Google Cloud um, in my opinion and uh, you're gonna need a, a couple things to, to get things going um, I prefer if you uh, uh, this mobile Xterm client so you're gonna need an SSH client you can use putty um, but mobile Xterm is a really nice uh, tool um, if you're gonna be uh, working on Linux servers. So um, I recommend that you go to mobaxterm.mobatech.net and you can download a free version and install a MOBA Xterm. And that's here, you can see how it looks. But um, we'll, we'll use this later. Um, so here is a fresh install of AWS. And um, Essentially, we're going to go ahead and we're going to try a fr free tier. So instead of clicking on the tutorial, we're just going to go ahead and go to products. And we're going to go to Amazon EC2. EC2. And we're going to get started. All right, so once you're logged in, um, you're going to want to go to the AWS Management Console. Put this up here. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to launch our virtual machine. Actually, first, sorry, uh, we're going to change this. We're going to go to EU London, right? That's the whole reason we're doing this. All right, and we're going to hit Launch Virtual Machine. And we're going to go through a wizard, and we're going to follow pretty much the same steps that we were going to do, what we have in Google Cloud, if you followed my other videos. All right, so if you hit Select, and we're going to do RHEL 7, and in this case, there's no licensing. It's free tier eligible, so we're going to use this. Hit select. We're going to stay with the, the micro, which is free eligible. Uh, we're going to continue there. And we can go through the configuration instances, instances information. Um, we're just going to leave one. We're just going to kind of uh, just keep going, add storage. We're going to leave the blank or the standard 10 gigabyte. I mean, you can put tags if you want, but we're just launching a single server uh, security group. Um, this is where we're going to want to add a rule. So SSH is open. We're going to want to add a firewall rule for custom TCP. We're going to put in 3128. We're going to do we're going to do the 0, .0 zero, and it's going to complain at you for doing this, but um, just going to deal with it. And we're going to hit review and launch. And you see there's a complaint, and we're going to launch. So we're going to have to, in this case, we're going to have to create a new pair. And we're going to have to download a key pair. And we have to give it a name. So we're going to say a Euro proxy. All right. We're going to download the key pair. It's going to save it to a location. And we're going to go ahead and launch an instance. All right, so if we're going to go to, sh um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a folder here on my desktop called Euro Proxy. And I'm going to copy that Euro Proxy uh, file that was downloaded. I'm going to put it into here. So um, here you, go. you can see. Uh, Uh, there's my folder. All right. So, all right. So we've launched. Th this thing's launching. There it is. And it's going up. It's not as quick as Google, but hey, it works. So we're gonna go to SSH. So we're gonna go to Mobile Xterm. So we're gonna click on Session, and Session's gonna bring into the setting. You're gonna select SSH. On the remote host, 
actually you're gonna go and uh, you can either do this or either one of these so I'm gonna grab this IP put the IP here we're gonna go and go to advanced SSH settings we're gonna select use private key and uh, we're gonna go ahead and specify the location of that so it's the name of our folder We're gonna say Euro Proxy, which is the name of the folder, and the name of the key is Euro Proxy.pm. Right, and that should match here. All right, so we're gonna hit OK, and it's gonna want you to log in, and you're gonna say EC2 dash user. If I remember right. It's going to grab the key and I'm in. Alright. So I'm in the proxy and there's the, there's the IP and now we're going to install the squid proxy the same way that um, we did in the Google Cloud proxies. So S, we're going to sudo su dash root we are going to do yum install wget and hit yes all right and now we're going to do uh i'm going to grab the url that we have in the example. So W. I'll put this in the comments. Yeah, Why isn't it doing that? Why doesn't it let me put copy? Copy. Paste. There we go. So we're going to run the wget command. It downloaded Squid Proxy. Now we're going to install it. And that is going to be, if I remember right, bash. Uh, S SPI, I think, if I remember right. Yeah, SPI dash rel7. Rel7. Alright, so this is going to install. It's going to ask us for a uh, username and password. Uh, so we're going to call this, uh, I don't know, in this case, we're going to call it today demo test. And password again is test two three. Actually, test one two three. It doesn't write anything for you, so you have to do test one two three. And uh, it worked. All right, so our proxy is good. And um, if we want to test that proxy, we can. All right, so we're going to test our proxy real quick, but we're going to test it a little bit differently um, to make sure that it works. We're gonna have to make sure that we're treated like we're in EU, and we're gonna use uh, sneakers and stuff to do that. Um, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install an extension, and we're gonna go to extensions, and we're gonna go to the store, Grub store, and we're gonna type simple proxy. In this case, no spaces for this. It's important. So we're gonna use this this tool up here. Yeah, make sure he's got no spaces. So we're going to add the extension. All right, and now we're going to add our proxy. And we're going to go to call it Euro. HTTP proxy host is going to be the the name, uh, I mean the IP. And we have it there. We can actually grab it back from the console. So here's the EC2 console. Gotta go back to sorry, I'm gonna fix this. The Euro proxy host port 3128. Uh, the account is demo test, and the password is test123. Uh, we're gonna save it and we're gonna select it. So here is the moment of truth. Um, 
So we're gonna say them. Okay, so it, it logged in for us. So we're gonna go to uh, Google. We're gonna do sneakers and stuff, uh, raffle. And we're gonna select this. And here you go, EU exclusive. So if we can open this, we're from the EU. And here you are. You can now enter a raffle from the US into uh, secret and stuff. All right, and uh, if you wanna show that this doesn't work, or it's working, I think you can just turn this off and try that. But uh, there you go. I hope this uh, helped you, or I hope having this proxy can help you enter raffles for EU exclusive drops. And uh, good luck. Hope you win.